Welcome to the channel, guys. You might remember me from my five seconds of fame over on Sunless Khan's channel. The cool thing about this mod is Cinder has already released a detail. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Jet Club, Rocket League's new 1.82 update, coming to you now in summer. Now, the astute among you might recall Psionics telling you that Rocket League would be released free to play in summer 2020. <laughs> September 23rd is not summer 2020, so I'm here to release to you a carball soccer update of the gun type variety. But first, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The channel only has 9 subscribers at the time of recording this, and it would be great if this could get us up to 10, so, uh, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, the timeline begins August 31st, which is just short of the meteorological start to fall. It's worth to note that up until this point I haven't had any experience with Unreal Engine 4 aside from the Unreal Engine 3 that Rocket League uses through modding for Bacchus Mod with the flight plugin and coding the uh, aerodynamic effects for the flight mechanics and I guess the reverse engineering that I've done for Rocket Console. The first step to making a Rocket League clone is CAR! When the UFO template launched, I didn't really know what I was doing at all at first, and then I decided to do the tutorial, followed by recreating the entire project with the advanced vehicle template instead, as this seemed to better fit my needs. The second step to making a Rocket League clone is physics. We have to provide the car mechanics that you use in Rocket League, such as jumping, boosting, and getting flip resets, which I can't get. Before we get into that nerdy nonsense, though, Let's adjust the camera settings. Much better. After spending much time consulting my dear friend Turbopulsa, I ended up with this. Not quite what I expected. So I asked AXP since he seems to know a couple of things about math and cross products. Maybe a bit too much. Wait a minute. What just happened? And we got it fixed. Sort of. With that, we're just going to mosey on over to the next step, level design. My first attempt at this was with basic geometric shapes, and the second was with subtractive brushes, and both were fails. There were a ton of glitchy corners, and I couldn't apply textures in places, and the map was dark, all sorts of issues. So I did what I normally do when I don't know something, and that is look it up online, and I watched a couple YouTube tutorials in Blender and learned how to make a barrel. Then I took a stadium template file, started applying textures, deleting meshes outside of the arena that I found unnecessary, fixing normal maps and textures as I went along, and ultimately I ended up with this arena. At this point in time, I had already implemented the boost and shooting mechanics, as well as a neat little camera trick that follows your camera's momentum in car cam, so that you have smooth transitions in the air and when landing. But doom was upon us. With the free-to-play announcement made public, Sonic's lit a fire burner under my bum to get this done before summer's end. I really had to speed up my development rapidly and muster all that I could in my arsenal to finish in time. Enter blueprints and a lot of tutorials, as I had to uphold the summer 2020 free-to-play that Rocket League promised. After many hours crammed in a long couple of days, I had a menu system, a pre-game lobby, as well as networking fully set up for online multiplayer. The actual blueprint programming that went into this isn't all that fun to watch, so instead here's a 4x, 4x speed montage of all the clips that went into it. Notable improvements to the game include a ball with physics, a heads-up display with boosts and health, an updated car hitbox, steering and torque curves, and goal scoring logic as well as a game end screen. Anyways, to be just in time for fall, I'm gonna leave it at that. The source will be made available on GitLab. All the awesome music in this video was made by my brother, whose GitHub you can find here. Like, comment, and subscribe, and peace. Oh, I've absolutely beamed it and it just disappeared. <laughs>